following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to conduct a features inspection of a new cruiser that combines the features of an express cruiser with the versatility of outboard power, all in a boat with a length overall of just over 34 feet. It's the Regal 33 XO. Externally, she's classic Regal with hull side windows below a curving rub rail that follows her form over trim work. An arch is forward leaning and adds to her good looks. The swim platform wraps around the outboards, which are bolted right to the transom. A reboarding ladder is concealed to the port side. Pull up cleats are in the corners, and additional tie down cleats are up higher out of the trip zone. Thanks to the outboard power, ahead is massive storage that can swallow up gear and test captains if you're so inclined. Inside, there are steering pumps, the command link electronics, fuel filters, raw water strainers, engine start batteries, the holding tank, house batteries, the 7.5 kW generator with underwater exhaust, and strip lighting is above. We enter the cockpit through steps to the starboard side. Across the stern is a 4 foot 10 inch bench seat making up a small part of the ultra lounge with beverage holders to each armrest. There's even a rod holder to the side and storage underneath. Plus, it's adjustable into four positions so that we can relax on the aft sun pad in different ways to suit the moment. And we can electrically slide the entire lounge fore and aft 11 inches to provide more room either in the cockpit or at the swim platform. Even with the seat back position to accommodate the cockpit seating, it's wide enough to still be comfortable from the swim platform position and the engines make great footrests. We do have to use the steps to the cockpit to access the seating. A flip out bench below would help. Of course, storage is underneath. Ahead into port is an aft facing lounger with the seat back comfortably reclined. A speaker and drink holder are to the side bulwarks. The bench seat back flips open to reveal dedicated storage for the cockpit table and pedestal along with the eyes and glass panels. The seat lifts on a support strut and there's a 25 quart carry on cooler inside. Additional storage is under the aft seat. And the seat back flips to face the seating just behind. With 35 inches between the seats, there's plenty of room for the side mount pedestal table. Battery switches are just below. To starboard is a refreshment center with an elongated rail, lots of open counter space, an electric grill, and single basin stainless steel sink. Below, there's a trash receptacle, refrigerator, storage, including dedicated space for the grill top, a stereo remote, and a rocker switch controlling the electric lift holding the 22 inch flat screen TV. Most often, we see these on pedestals that have to be pulled out of storage to use. High points for Regal on this one. Overhead is the forward-leaning power tower. It lowers at the touch of a button, and notice how we can still drive with it in the lowered position. Even lowering the antenna is easier, and when it comes time to put the Isinglass package on, lower the arch, attach, and then raise it. No more struggling to force a snap into position. What's more is the standard Stamoid Bimini top can also be attached directly to the windshield with the tower partially lowered to create a protective cover for operating in weather. At the helm there's a soft touch color match dash, a dark panel with a depth gauge, 12 inch multifunction display, and two drink holders elevated to both sides. Below and to the left is the Fusion stereo, then the VHF, the Yamaha Command Link LCD display, rocker switches, an accessory plug, the one-touch start stops. To the side panel is the digital engine control binnacle with all of its features. Just behind we have the trim tab rockers and the bow thruster control. The Hellmaster joystick adds ease of docking that anyone can use to look like a pro. The engines will move independently to direct the thrust however needed to move the boat in any direction the joystick is moved and we found it worked flawlessly. Add in the further convenience of the bow thruster and we can make the 33XO perform against any crosswind or cross currents, all effortlessly. And the positioning of the two joysticks allows you to still use them both at the same time with one hand. And finally, we have the switch panel for the power tower, the panel main switch, the underwater lights, and the horn that I'd like to see stand out better, and all the nav, docking, and cockpit lights. I also like how this switch panel is angled to match the shape of the armrest. The seat is 38 inches wide, includes a flip-up bolster, and has self-draining open storage underneath. And we're seeing the thick upholstery, double-stitched and custom embroidered. Sea deck covered steps next to the helm lead through the stainless steel framed walk-through windshield with interlocking latches. 
A chaise lounge measures 3 feet 10 inches wide and 4 feet 9 inches long and is adjustable into multiple positions. Fully forward, the rail height is 24 inches. The ground tackle is concealed under a hatch, leaving a clean foredeck. A lift and lock latch gets us underneath, where there's a separate power switch. Full control switches are behind. There's space to access the road. A cleat alongside for securing the road. And all is leading to a polished stainless steel through the stem anchor roller. Now let's take a look at the accommodations below. As we enter, the first impression is of a roomy open space with the high overhead. Hull side windows and overhead hatches allow natural light to pour in. Seating wraps around from the starboard side to across the front. A side mount accommodates the pedestal table from the cockpit. To port is a galley with a two burner stove. The cover stores alongside. There's a stainless steel sink, microwave, and storage. Below there's a refrigerator and more storage. Opposite there's a cabinet with the boat's electrical panel. 110 is at the top, 12 volt at the bottom. To port is the wet head. There's a mirror on the aft bulkhead, a sink with contemporary fixtures, a hall side window, heat and air conditioning vent. Ventilation is by an electric exhaust fan. And instead of utilizing a pull-out sprayer, Regal went with a fixed sprayer on the bulkhead. That's a nice touch. So is the headroom of six feet three inches, which could very well be the best in class. The mid cabin is all berth, measuring six feet by six feet four inches. There's plenty of storage. Hull side windows provide natural light and a 22 inch TV is at the aft bulkhead. The open tread stairways add to the open feel of the cabin and frankly this is large enough and easy enough to get into that I'd make it the primary but we do have another choice. The berth forward is behind the seating and starts out life at 45 inches. But remove the seat cushions, lift the seat back and it latches into position to extend the berth to 6 feet. Storage is to the sides and under the seat cushions is the central vac system. A 33-inch TV is in view against the aft bulkhead. The Regal 33XO has a length overall of 34 feet 2 inches, a beam of 10 feet 4 inches, and a draft of 35 inches. Deteriorating conditions on test day prevented us from testing the 33XO, but Regal's testing team has done extensive testing on it and report that with an estimated test weight of 11,690 pounds and the twin 300 horsepower Yamaha 4.2 liter V6 engines turning 6,000 RPM, the top speed was 49.5 miles per hour. Best cruise was measured to be at 4,500 RPM and 37.5 miles per hour. At that speed, the 28 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 1.3 miles per gallon in a range of 181 miles while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 150 gallon total fuel capacity. Again, these were not our numbers, so we haven't verified them. Well, clearly, this newest launch from the Regal factory has much more functionality thanks to some innovative solutions that can be found throughout. She's a comfortable weekender for a cruising couple and can accommodate a family just as easily and her outboard power provides the improved handling and roominess boaters in this class are looking for. All in the 33XO from Regal. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.